Hello there. Today we're going to try and attempt to fix this HP 3600N. Um, I was printing some documents, came down to grab them and smelled um, some ozone, which is kind of electrical uh, um, fire type odor, and noticed that uh, there was an error message saying uh, 5050.1 one, um, I think then two, um, and then I think that's the uh, the error message is that it's hot, the fuser is hot. So I opened up the top of the case and, um, well, let me show you what I saw. Opening this up, I first saw all of this. And that's kind of like a black smoke silt um, fumes. So, and if I take that, which I have to do with two hands. So, let me put you down. I did replace the fuser cartridge um, with a supposedly new one that I got online from Amazon um, and it gave me the same error so I'm assuming it's not the fuser that's bad but something down in here so I don't see anything really here uh, but definitely that is all sooty so I'm going to take this off and according to some of the research I've done, there's a board that might need to be replaced. And we'll just have to see what we get into. There's that. Gotta find that other screw. There it is. Alright. So that goes there. So one on, one here, two here, one here. So that's that, those two, and the one that dropped. I'm trying to keep all the parts in order. So let me show you what this looks like. So, relatively clean. I had to take that wire off, um, which is the switch for that. Um, still need to get to this side to see what on that board probably burnt up. So we'll try and take these screws off, but I don't necessarily see anything burnt up in here. Um, the fuse looks dark, so I'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, can't imagine that would burn up and then flare up over here, but we'll find out. Um, so I'm going to continue to un undo things. I went ahead and removed that fuse that I pointed out earlier that looked a little dark. Um, and I ohmed it out and it's open. So, and it looks cracked and, and shot. Still don't understand why that would put smoke where it did. Um, although the fuser could have overheated and that burnt and then caused a short and then the fuse kicked in. But uh, I will show you what um, where I took that fuse out and what I ohmed it out. So This is where that fuse was Looks like fuse 3901 if I read right um, 25 volt or 250 volt uh, I believe that would be 250 volt in Europe and 25 volt here in the States and 
let me see if I can pan down a little bit more and a little bit more and we'll put this right there if it doesn't fall off the table so we'll put that there that so you can see zeros so that's definitely a bad fuse Here is that fuse, I don't know if it'll focus, but it's definitely shot. But we're going to go ahead and open up the rest and try and, try and see what uh, this area looks like, um, since that's where all the smoke came from. We shall see. no screws but there are two um, um, probably snap-on points holes so here you have to pry those two and then it'll come out So this board right here is the connector that up above here was smoke. I don't see anything on the board that was smoky. So therefore Therefore, I'm assuming the board's okay. I'm going to send a picture to Kevin. See what Kevin says. Alexa, continue. Stop. So there's putting the board back in. Note these little holes, they should line up with these LEDs. So I gotta make sure that they go in right.
there's little clips right here that hold the board on as well. So as long as I didn't pull any of the wires out of here, and as long as I put these wires back on correctly, So, my next step is to go replace that fuse and see if that does it. Let me remember where this came from. Alrighty, off to get a new fuse. Well, I made it back. Um, I got the fuses. I uh, did not know if it needed um, time delayed fuses or fast acting fuses. So um, I got both. The total was $5. Um, and now we're going to put it in and turn it on and see if we get that error. Wish me luck. We will start with the fast acting fuse. So 15 amp, 32 volts AC. This was at 124 125 volts, 15 amps, but my friend Kevin, the electronics person, said that was the difference between DC and AC. So I'm taking Kevin on his word. Now if I can get the package open, somewhere is an X. Contacts just from my oils of my hand. Stick it in there. Put the plastic back over it. And probably should put the pieces back on. Looks like everything is good. Alright, where's the side over here? side and I'm actually just going to do that. <laughs> So 
just those. back out or somehow pry this in. Probably easier just to pop this out again. back crossed. So far so good. Calibrating.
Still calibrating. Ready. Menu. Information. Running configuration. It works. So, therefore, end result, it was we needed a 15 amp fuse. And we may have needed a, a fuser. <laughs>